back. This is Boomer Life on Sea Isle 650. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, riding down Santa Claus Lane. <laughs> All right, little, little Elvis here on this episode of Boomer Life on this uh, Saturday morning, the day of the big Christmas open house at Shannon Oaks in East Vancouver at 2526 Waverly Avenue. Jillian Fullerton is here from Shannon Oaks, and so is Irene McGeorge. Irene lives there. Jillian works there. Irene's been there for just under a year. This is your first Christmas at Shannon Oaks, and already you're, you're kind of keened up uh, about this one. It's going to be a lot of fun this year, isn't it? Yes, it is. And uh, uh, any special dinners or plans? Or uh, uh, Jillian, you've talked to us about the big, yep. you do quite a splashy Christmas dinner, don't oh, you? Oh, we do a wonderful resident dinner. Uh, the whole thing is just, we just put everybody seating all at once, and it's just uh, spectacular. The mm-hmm. food is, uh, and I think we had, we had, uh, the turkey, but we also had lobster before. Oh, my. And some of the residents didn't like it, and Sean was sitting at the table. He got a pile of lobster, so this <laughs> next year he said, save me your lobster. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. When, when uh, Christmas season, of course, we're just still a few weeks ahead of Christmas, but uh, during the season, it's, it's a time when a lot of families get together. And Irene, uh, you have four daughters, uh, four adult daughters, and 17 children and great-grandchildren and, and uh, so on. Uh, you're, ch- you're lucky. Your family all lives fairly close. Some are on the island and so on, and one's in Seattle, but they're all reasonably close. Sometimes families scatter. My mom lives in southern Ontario. I'm in Vancouver. I mean, this is pretty typical stuff nowadays. And sometimes when we gather uh, at seasonal occasions, like Christmas and summer holidays maybe, and we don't see mom or dad for quite a while, Jillian, we get home to the old house, and we start <laughs> looking around, and, you know, it's it's not the same as it used to be last visit. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't as, as much as a, the cleanliness thing, but it's the contents of the fridge. Yep. It, it's somebody's true, not yeah. eating very well. Uh, somebody's kind of just not paying attention to yeah. details. And, you know, it's a bit of a shock when because you, you talk every week on the phone. How you doing, Mom? Oh, I'm just great. Looking forward to seeing you when you come home with the kids for Christmas. So you come home with the kids for Christmas and you look at Mom's place and you go, oh, my gosh. Mom, why didn't you tell me you were kind of starting to, to lose it a little bit here? And Mom's because not she wouldn't dressing. want to worry you. Yeah, she's she would. Not... Oh, I, I couldn't pause. Why would I? Why would yeah. I w- want you worrying about me yeah. now? Yeah. So, Jillian, this is this. It's an interesting Christmas. It's an interesting time of discovery for us boomers mm-hmm. when we do a reality check in on our parents' mm-hmm. lives, and it's not always a pleasant finding. And we often get lots of calls just after Christmas because that's what exactly as you described is what's happened right they seem that mom is not taking care of her personal self as much you know right that you know the blouse maybe have you know some stains on it she's not you know just and she used to be so meticulous about things like that right and and uh you just you know that it may be perhaps depression is there too you know uh you you have to be aware of what the, some of the signs are but you can see it and she's just doing a routine thing, not getting out as much, uh, saying no to invitations, yeah. um, all of that sort of thing. And Irene, I'm sure you went through this, and I'm, I'm not to put, trying to put words in your mouth, but when your husband Jack passed away a few years ago, did you notice that your circle of friends changed a little bit? Because a lot of that circle was composed of couples, and when you're not part of a couple anymore, you're not part of that circle anymore. Yes, that's true. That's so yeah. true. That does happen. Did you notice that? Yes, I did. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So Jillian's talking about these circumstances and, and kids come home for the holidays and discover moms who's been living alone. Uh, things aren't quite the way they used to be. There's a little there's a little deterioration going on. You spent a couple of years on your own before you moved to Shannon Oaks. You had your four daughters and all those wonderful grandchildren close by to help you out. Yes. But you were still by yourself. And it's it's a different life, isn't it? That's right. Very different. Very different. And how did you, uh, you made the decision, in your case, you didn't need any boomer kids pushing you around or telling you what to do. When it came time, you took the uh, the decision on your own to move to Shannon Oaks. Uh, that's not always the case, but I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to, to think, what was the trigger? Irene, that that you were you were home, you were alone, you'd been there for a while. Your your husband was gone, uh, and uh, and at one point, one day, suddenly something just came crystal clear in your mind, and you said, 
time to get out of here. Time to move on. Well, like I said, I was under house arrest. I had a lot of time to sit oh, and think. Oh, that's right. You had a lot of time to sit and think about it. Right. And think about it and think about it. And the, the house yeah. arrest, by the way, friends, in case you missed the first part of the conversation, <laughs> was not the police. <laughs> it, was, it was Irene's daughters. Shit. She had taken a fall, and, and their, your daughters just asked you to, to just chill for a couple of days, and so they come over and have a look and see you're, you're right. all right. right. And so they, you had a chance to sit and think. That's right. I had a chance to sit and think, and I, as I said, I decided that I think it was time that I thought about Shannon Oaks. Right. I thought about it, and my daughter said, okay, let's not think about it, phone, and which I did, and like I told you before. Was it was was there a, a kind of a loneliness uh, mm -hmm. component to all of that? Just tired of being alone? Yes, I was getting to it. Like I told you, it's not much fun living alone. Right. You know, even though my daughters are very good, you know, visited me and phoned and friends too, but it was just something missing. Right. You were you were married to your husband for fifty six years. Fifty six years. years and right. And living with somebody for fifty six years, what was it like? How did you experience that once he had gone? I mean, the sense of loneliness. Well, I had some. My husband died of cancer, so you know, it was for five, um, two thousand about three years that he you know, was. So on there team. was you were sort of able to uh, yes, prepare yourself yes, somehow. Yes, right. I, I was able to prepare myself for it, but no matter how much you prepare, you're never ready for it. You're you right. Yeah. You know, and so. Uh, it was it was hard. It was you hard. shared with me watching television how you used to do it together in some of the programs that uh, yeah. you know were not you know those memories that were there and then the sense of loneliness that you couldn't share those things any longer and that that's hard. Well, and it's interesting because, and here we are sort of on, on a melancholy note, and Irene, you have just been one of the happiest, most <laughs> upbeat, lively people I have met from Shannon Oaks. I've met quite a few people yes. from Shannon Oaks. I've been over there, to yeah. the, did the tour, but you are, are such a vibrant person. So it's interesting listening to you describe those moments of solitude and loneliness and how you said, enough already, mm -hmm. enough, mm -hmm. let's get on with life. Yeah. And away you went. Good decision. Yes, I have not regretted it at all. And Jillian, lots of opportunities for people to at least have a look at what they could make a good decision about, oh, too. Oh, sure. Coming Today. up in just a couple of short hours here, we're, we're going to release you, too, to, to scoot across town from uh, Richmond here at the radio station <laughs> to uh, East Vancouver. But it's, it's all about the Christmas open house, and it's from 2 to 4 this afternoon. Everyone is welcome. Yes. And if you'd like to take a tour, uh, still give them a call. And so then they'll be ready for you uh, and have someone who can show you around for a few minutes and that number is 604-324-6257 uh, how'd I do they very well and Shannon, you, can, you can come up to the desk too if you, sure, if you forget to call and shannonoaks.com is the website yes. Jillian's email address the phone number the map all the directions are there for Shannon Oaks Vancouver and the same for Shannon Oaks Victoria correct have fun at the open house we will both of you and irene thank you so much for coming merry christmas to you thank you the same to you my pleasure jillian merry christmas merry christmas we'll see Jillian. you in 2016 kiddo. we will indeed all right see you next time right here on boomer life